Hey y'all, it is Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and I'm going into, you know me, y'all, I cannot do that Black Friday shopping, I cannot do it, there's too many people, too many hateful people, too many people fighting over um, a sale or a deal or pushing people around, stealing stuff out of people's carts, I just can't hang with all that. So, I go shopping after Black Friday. Today's Saturday, I'm going in Hobby Lobby, and I thought maybe it would be like a lot less people, but it's not. It's like the whole parking lot is like so full, so I'm really um, anxious to go in here. My anxiety is uh, up to the high mark of it. I've already bit off all of my fingernails um, between going to going to see my dad yesterday and it like stormed the whole way home I don't like driving in the rain between last night and right now I'm having quite a bit of anxious feelings of crowds of people um, not that I don't like crowds of people I just don't like people being hateful to other people you, you understand what I'm saying like it's a um, TV you know, material things are just not what's important in my life anymore um, as an adult. So for me, I'd rather just pay the extra $20 for the TV. You know what I'm saying? Instead of pushing people around or fighting till... I mean, people were getting... Like the last year that I went, which was not last year, but the year before. Like I seen literally people getting knocked over and pushed out of the way. Like I just can't with that stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go in here to Hobby Lobby and see if I can find any sweet deals. And if I do, then I'll be more than happy to show those to you. All right, let's go.
Hey, I'm back. We went to, me and the hubby went to Hobby Lobby and I found so many fun things um, at such a good price. I think I total spent 80 bucks. But look what I found. This guy was like 50% off, so he only cost me $15. And I just think that he is just too cute. So stinking cute. So I'm gonna set that out. I do have one that I made, um, a three-tiered one that I made by hand um, uh, several years ago. So I thought maybe um, I would still use that and get this one, you know. Um, we have, the reason that we went to Hobby Lobby in the first place is so that I can finish decorating my Christmas tree. Now this Christmas tree here is like a $20 Christmas tree. I've had it um, last year I bought this $20 Christmas tree in the hopes that I would find a really nice Christmas tree at the end of the season. I want one of them very big, large. You see I have a double window here in the front of my house and so I want one of them very large flocked Christmas trees um, and hopefully again I will find said Christmas tree um, on clearance because I'm just not going to pay y'all. I'm just not going to pay $500 for a Christmas tree. Um, so this is what we're working with until I find the perfect Christmas tree. But I needed some picks and things to kind of make it better. As you can see, the theme of my Christmas tree here is like peppermint. So like a red and white, but like the bright white. Um, so I did pick up two of these bad boys. Um, they are the $3.99 and these were all 50% off. Oop, sorry. And if you guys can see, it kind of's got like the icicles on it. I wanted to get some of the um, uh, like cotton stems. I seen online in Michaels um, in Hobby Lobby they have these cotton stem picks that go in the Christmas trees that have like the iced like stuff on it to make it look all icy and stuff. But I didn't find it at the Hobby Lobby that I was at. I didn't find those. So I did get two of those, they were 50% off. And then I got a bunch. I cannot wait until Hobby Lobby's like ornaments and stuff. I was in there in Hobby Lobby and you guys, like they had all these wonderful peppermint um, designed candies, the red and white big old balls and candies. Um, but they are just too expensive even at 50% off. So I'm hoping that I can find some of those when they start marking their stuff down after Christmas um, so that in the future when I do get my big old flock tree, I have those big ornaments to go in my tree. Um, I think the big ornaments would work in this one as well. Um, these things are all stuck together. Hold on, kids, hold on. But I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stick with the theme and that's gonna be like peppermint theme and then I'm gonna hand make some farmhouse themed ornaments that go incorporate in there kind of like with the buffalo check in the plaza and stuff um so that's going to be the theme of my christmas tree um but i do they have these gorgeous like big peppermint cut like there's peppermint shaped ornaments but then there's also just these big peppermint colored ornaments at hobby lobby i'm going to try and hopefully get some when everything goes on clearance and some big fancy picks because I don't have a star on the top of this tree. Um, I have a very old family heirloom star in my tree and I just, for my tree, and I just, it's getting so old I don't want to use it. So I'm starless right now. Anyway, um, I have these berries and I just absolutely love these. These were $1.59 so that would have made them like 70 cents or something. And I picked up eight of them. I'm going to be putting those in there. I did get a couple from Walmart, like this one up here. Oh, you guys probably can't see it because of that light. Um, let's see, do I have another one close by? I did get some of these from Walmart um, for like a dollar. This one here is clipped here. I'll take it out so you I got some of these, super gorgeous for a dollar. I only found a few of these. I would have loved to have gotten a whole bunch of these white little clip-on spirally things, um, but I only got two of these and they didn't have any red ones, so it's kind of sad about that. I think that one's up here. 
Oops, I'll put that back up there later. Anyway, so I got that one. Um, I got some of them at Walmart. Then, friends, I got eight of these as well. Oh, bummer. I got eight of these as well. These are the cranberries, but these are um, glittered cranberries. And again, these were like um, 70 cents a piece too. They did have regular ones, and I do have up there in the top of my tree a few regular cranberries without the glitter on them, which I also like. They just didn't have them. Um, but I like filling my entire Christmas tree up with picks, so I'm starting to collect them. Um, and, you know, maybe by the time I get my big tree, I'll have tons and tons and tons to put it in. Put in. Because I like the trees that are like the big, they've got like, you know, houses and stuff put inside the branches and whatnot. I want one of those trees. And then I just picked up two of these because I thought they were stinking cute and I felt like I needed a little bit more white. Um, so these are just pom-poms and they were... $4 a piece, so I got them for $2 a piece. And then I just picked up some of this filler. It was 50% off, so uh, $4.50. And then I found these cookie cutters in the little mini versions. There are, how many is in here? There's 15 count, but I thought that was a good price. This makes it really easy for the little guy to, um, as lunches and stuff so and then I just got these Santa Claus picks also for lunches mm. now when we were there they had like all of their like metal and wood decor like 50% off so I got this and this is gonna sit on my buffet and I'm gonna put like our fresh fruits in there like our apples, bananas, it says Farm Sweet Farm, y'all know me. Most of my house is decorated in farm, like just antique kind of thing. And then I, this was a good deal, this only ended up caught, this is 40% off, so I think I paid like six bucks for it. And it is just a weekly planner. I thought this would be really nice to hang up and um, give the kids chores and things write their name on it, and then also what activity that they have uh, for the week, because sometimes we forget about things all the time. So there's just so many things for us to keep track of. We have three kids and they all have their own, their own list of fun activities to do. Um, so, you know. So I have, you see these here, I bought these Hobby Lobby last year and I went ahead and picked up another one. Um, they were five bucks and again, like I said, I was afraid, this was the only one on the shelf too and I was afraid that if I didn't buy it, next year there's gonna have, there's gonna be so many other different things for Christmas trees that I won't have enough of these to cover up my big Christmas tree. And I just like a lot of filler ornaments, like this guy's just kinda sitting on the branch, um, but I like to have big filler ornaments so that my tree looks more full because like I said, this is just the $20 tree from Walmart. I like these big ones here. Anyway, it's a work in progress, but we'll get it figured out. So this one was originally nine, uh, 10 bucks, so I got it for five. This one was 11. But these got like little icicles on them, like little snowflakes, ice, little glitter pieces, so cute. And then I got another set of these as well. I have some of these already on my tree, um, but I needed them in my life. And then also again, cause I was afraid, I got the Jingle Bells, which I just couldn't resist. These were also just uh, $9.99 and so stinking cute, right? The little white ones have glitter icicles all over them. So stinking cute. The camera probably doesn't pick that up. But. So that is what I got at Hobby Lobby for my Christmas tree. Now I'm going to get this Christmas tree finished today and then I'm going to share with you guys the end result of my Christmas tree because I started filming this process 
um, you know, last week and I'm just now trying to finish it up. So I'm going to get that started and I'll show you guys the end result of the Christmas tree. So here it is guys, the finished product. Now I do have to say that I have the red ornaments, these. I don't have any more hooks so I'm going to end up adding these to this tree um, whenever I go to get some more hooks. But this is what it looks like. And you see our little elf on the shelf there has made an appearance. I got my curtains down washing those right now so that's why you don't see any curtains but this is in my living room. There you go. Just goes to show you that you can take a $20 Christmas tree especially if that's all you can afford or if you're like me trying to wait and hold out on the deal of a lifetime when it comes to Christmas tree on clearance after the season's over that's what I'm doing um, and make it into something just as pretty and wonderful as any other Christmas tree um, I shoved mine with a whole bunch of picks to make it look a little bit further fuller and that's it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and I hope that everybody out there is getting into the Christmas season no matter what your budget is alright guys we will see you next time